Hi everybody, happy Sunday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Topps Cosmic Chrome Baseball six box half case pick a team number eight. Uh, second half of the case. There it is, we're looking for Cosmic Chrome autographs. They're not, I think if it's anything like last year, they're not like, uh, they're not one per box. We're looking for one Nucleus Refractor per box and these Planetary Pursuits are all different, uh, they're all at different levels, so different levels of short printedness, if, you, if that's a word. Actually, let me pull up a checklist and see. Um, let's see if we get some odds. Are the odds for the planets same as last year? I would imagine so. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. All right. Good luck, everybody. When's the basketball breakers of light going? Everything on the website, Adam, goes when it sells out. That's it. Simple as that. When it says sold out, that's when it happens. That's for every single break on the site. And remember, that's all always up to you. Honestly, I come in here every day. I don't know when. There could be nothing breaking or there could be everything breaking. But all that is all in your hands. We can only set up the breaks. It's, it's you and the rest that's going to have to take them down. And as soon as they sell out, they'll do it. It could happen tonight. It could happen the next hour. It could happen in the next day. It could happen in the next week. I don't know. That's up to... You and the people. Sam's saying there are no odds for plants this year. Okay. How are we liking the Cosmic Chrome this year? I think it came out on Friday and we're already on our last break. So that, sh that shows me that people are happy with it. I kind of like that the autos are fewer and far between because it makes the value of the autos a little bit higher. Box one of six. Good luck. This is actually my first live look at this. Sam likes the inserts this year. Yeah, already I feel like I feel like it's a little less busier, which I kind of like. Last year's was cool, but if we can get things a little less busy, it looks pretty clean. There's Bobby Wood Jr. Looks like that's not numbered. Justin Kirkstad. There's Nelly De La Cruz rookie card for the Reds. And where did my list go? Big thanks to, I forgot to do this part. Big thanks to this group for making it happen here on Sunday the 13th. Thanks for selling it out. Pick your team eight. So EA with the Reds. Greg getting triple last spot in Mojo. There's everybody else. Thanks everyone for, for chipping away at this and making it happen. Actually, Lighting on the camera looks a little washed out here. Let me roll off the brightness a little bit here. Yeah, it's a little bit better there. What are some of the, the short prints that I should be looking for? There's Launch Into Orbit Bobby Wood Jr. That's a cool die cut. And obviously the Planetary Pursuits, but is there anything else we're looking out for? Maybe Planetary Pursuits are the main ones. Stella Nova is a case hit. 
And Supernova is a super short print, so maybe we're kind of looking out for those. Well, speaking of which, Stella Nova, die cut, case hit. Right on cue. And that's Greg, last spot mojo. Nice. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. And there is a Aqua Shimmer, uh, Jack Lighter at 134 out of 199. Rangers, that's going to go to Evan. And into the Cosmos insert, Junior Caminero. Look for you know, one of the top prospects, prospects in baseball. Maybe look out for a big season for him next year. So Planet Sam saying Martian Attack Star Fractors. All right, we'll look out for all of those. All cards ship, so if in case I miss anything, don't worry. It'll be on its way to you. There's this Cody Bellinger here. What are these? These look kind of cool. The inserts do look nice to hear. There's Kyle Manzardo. That is 24 out of 75. That's going to be for I Capola. Cleveland, this is for you. There's extraterrestrial talent. Wyatt Langford. Oh, stars in the night, I like that. All right, box one in the books. See what we got in box two. A little Dodgers pregame happening right here. Mets have been a hot team since the last time the Dodgers saw them. They've got four comeback wins in the postseason. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of scary. There's a white hole variation with a white border. Sam saying, "All right, I'll keep an eye out for that too." Thanks. Who does everyone have in this? Um, who does everyone have in this Dodgers Padres or Dodgers Mets series? Mets, the series odds according to Bet Online, the slight underdog plus one sixty five. Dodgers are minus one ninety. Looks similar with the Guardians Yankees price too. Guardians are plus one seventy five. The Yankees are even more heavily favored at minus two oh five. Vegas thinks Dodgers uh, Yankees World Series. Doesn't usually go chalk though, we all know this. Sand praying there isn't a, yeah, Subway Series. West Coast would probably check out on that. We would probably check out on the Subway Series, as would most of the country. Be fun for New Yorkers. And I was really hoping the Tigers would, 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 would be in the NLCS, but it was a rough end to their series for them. Some good baseball, though. Some exciting baseball. All right. Next box. It's Jason Dominguez launched into orbit. It'll be a die cut for Greg and the Yankees.
with Jackson Holiday, extraterrestrial talent. Ellie Della Cruz, couple of Ellie Della Cruzes. I'd love to see ink or a numbered card for Ellie Della Cruz. There's his base rookie card. And there's the astrologically aligned insert for Ellie. These are all going to EA and the Reds. And Jackson Holiday. All of these will go to Sam and the O's. There's Ezekiel Tovar, 70 out of 75. There's an Ellie Dela Cruz launched into orbit. Nice. It's a cool, cool die cut. EA has the Rockies. That's where the Ezekiel Tovar is going to go. Base Chase Dominguez. It's for Greg and the Yankees. And behind Trout is a Corbin Carroll into the Cosmos Orange Ray Wave, one out of 25. Ryan with the Snakes. Extraterrestrial talent, Jason Dominguez. Nomar Garcia Parra calling Shohei. Big playmaker of tonight. What about Oral? So Wyatt Langford, a Jackson Holiday, and a 57 out of 150, Andre Lipsius. As for Joe and Detroit. Base Jackson Holiday for Sam. Wyatt Langford for Evan. Brent Honeywell on the background. Yeah, the Dodgers bullpen are really going to have to carry the team with the pitching staff anyway. The starters would be nice if like Yamamoto and Jack Flaherty and Walker Buehler can eat up five or six innings. But you know, we're going to have to rely on the bullpen a little bit more. It's going to be a little more difficult in the seven-game series. You can rely on the bullpen in a five-game series and get away with it, but maybe not in a seven game series with a really good team like the Mets. Nice, there's an autograph. One out of 50. Andrew Abbott for the Reds. That's gonna be for EA.
Not an Ellie autograph, but it's got, got an auto nonetheless. Here's a base Ellie Dela Cruz. Be interesting to see the Reds next year with a uh, with new manager. Terry Francona is going to be running the Reds next year, which means he's healthy, which is good. Nice Gunnar Henderson. He's 131 out of 190, so that's a good sign. That means he's healthy, ready to get back into baseball. It's good for him. He might he might take that young Reds team to the next level. Here's a nice uh, Jackson Churio, Joe, and the Brewers, Joe Simone. Who are Andrew Abbott's value, sir? Yeah, the, unfortunately, the, the pitchers don't sell as well as their hitting counterparts, but a low-numbered autograph is always nice. It's Paul Skeens. Sam, with the Pirates, our first uh, Skeens base card. Maybe we'll find something numbered in here. Put it into the Cosmos, Wyatt Langford for the Rangers, for Evan. And there's a Wyatt Langford, 15 out of 99. Nice, getting some color there, Evan. Sedan Rafaela, it's gonna be for uh, Jonathan and the Red Sox. He had a pretty solid season last year. And a nice Jackson Merrill refractor for the Padres, Sam Clark. That might be a closer is that a closer NL Rookie of the Year odds? Let me think. Let's see what Vegas says. So I guess by the end of the season, Skeens finished, uh, at least according to BetMGM, finished at minus 350 for Paul Skeens. The more minus you get, the bigger of a favorite they are, if you're not familiar with that. But... Uh, and then Jackson Merrill finished two to one, plus two twenty. So that's what BetMGM has, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's how the the writers have voted. So for whatever that's worth. Sam thinks Merrill's gonna win. In the AL, it looks like Luis Heel. He was minus 200, Colton Kowser was plus 125. That's a little bit closer than the NL race, so that's a, that's a little bit of a, most likely gonna be Luis Heel, but Colton Kowser might have a shot. <laughs> Disregard to the same. Well, you never know. That's just Vegas odds. They, they, you know, they're kind of just following the money. But that doesn't always necessarily mean that you know, that doesn't reflect what, you know, the riders may feel differently, you know. You know, the riders could easily be like, you know what? Skeens may have been more of this, but Jackson Merrill helped his team get into the playoffs. That counts a lot for riders. Those are some intangibles there, so you never know. Dodgers pregame is over on the Dodgers network, so let's flip over to, I think the game's on Big Fox, right? It has to be. NLCS? It's on Big Fox. Channel 11 here in LA. What's your Fox affiliate channel, ladies and gentlemen? Channel 11 in Los Angeles. Apologies ahead of time if if I'm either um, if, if my broadcast is ahead of you, but you may be able to fiddle with the pause button and try to line it up so we can watch the game together without giving anything away. All right, 
Next box, here we go. And a Jung Hoo Lee, 70 out of 150 for the Giants. Uh, Sean with the Giants. Was on his way, maybe he could have gotten some Rookie of the Year consideration before he banged up his shoulder. Sean has the Giants, and then Evan has the Rangers. Evan will get that Evan. And that Wyatt. You know, Austin Wells had a really nice season too. If like Colton Cowser and Luis Heel didn't exist, he might be, uh, he might have been a, a leading candidate for Rookie of the Year. There's Max Scherzer, 136 out of 199. Evan with the Rangers. Speaking of Colton Cowser, we got a couple of his cards there. Both of those going to Sam and the O's. There's Imanaga. For the Cubbies, that'll be for Joe S. Dominguez going to Greg and the Yankees. Evan going to Evan. All right, two more boxes to go. Have not seen a planetary pursuit yet. But let's see what we got in these last two boxes. It's just me, or does Derek Jeter seem a little more comfortable in the uh, the pre and post game shows? I feel like the first year or two, I feel like he looked a little stiff, looked a little quiet, didn't really say much, but it seems like he feels a little more loose this season. Jeter's still a stick in the mud, is Sam? A little less stickier than though. Yeah, I guess he's still a stick in the mud. Big Boppy's great. I love David Ortiz on the pregame, but Jeter seems a little less stiff. Still stiff. There's Yamamoto. We'll probably see him tomorrow, I would think. This is the white border that Sam was talking about. This one's for the twins. That's going to be for Evan. Pablo Lopez. Another Caminero for the Rays. It's for Mark. Yamamoto will go to Greg and the Dodgers. To Evan Carter. And here's our first planetary pursuit. It's the sun. Jackson Holiday, here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here you go, Sam. Nice Jackson Holiday. Nice. 
Now, Sam was mentioning that they don't, didn't publish the odds this year, but I want to say, I think Sun's probably the most common, and I think as we get further away from the Sun, I think they're shorter printed is what I think. 98 out of 150, Trey Turner for the Phillies. Edgar with the fight in Phils. And we got a launch into orbit. Orange Ray Wave, Bobby Witt Jr., 23 out of 25. Nice one for Joe S. and the Royals. Yeah, so Pluto's the most rare. Awesome. So, yeah, that's what I thought. Thanks for the confirmation. There's a Brandon Finding Nemo, 109 out of 199. That'll be for the Mets, Joe B with that. Jonathan with the Red Sox gets to Don Rafaela. And there's a Into the Cosmos, Ellie Dela Cruz for EA and the Reds. There's Royce Lewis, final box coming up. We don't have any more in the store for now. We may get some more delivered to us this week, so keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you're watching live today on a Sunday, I'm pretty sure Fanatics Live has some more, co our, our last case of Cosmic Chrome. So if you're really looking to, for that, and only that, visit Thomas Jaspi on uh, Fanatics Live. Jaspi's Breaks is what you can find for us. Where you can find us. I don't think we even have any more for personal stuff on Instagram today at Jaspi's Breaks. All three platforms humming today. Fanatics Live, YouTube, Instagram Live. Now I see zero orders coming in here, ladies and gentlemen. I know baseball is about to start, NLCS is about to start, Sunday Night Football about to start, but make us your second or third screen. Keep, keep your orders going and maybe we can get a few more things across the finish line. You can vote in our YouTube poll, who wins Sunday Night Football. 72% have Cincinnati as the road favorites, minus three and a half. So last box here, pick your team eight. Thanks everybody for making it happen. Keep your eye out for more on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got Jackson Churio Planetary Pursuits. Nice. Another rookie here. It's gonna go to Joe S and the Brew Crew. We got Nick Cassianos to 199. Phillies, Edgar. Astrologically aligned, Ref uh, yeah, refractor, Junior Caminero, Mark in the Rays. There's another white border right there, Everson Pereira. That's going to be for Greg and the Yankees. Between the 
Is Andy Pius on this? Uh... He is. Just for fun, we'll sleeve up this Andy Pius, Greg, who has the Dodgers. You never know. If he surprises everybody, you know, he could be a... Every once in a while, there's a rando that ends up winning, like, NLCS MVP or something like that. Could be that guy. Another Caminero. There's a Churio. It's a good-looking set, folks. I feel like... I feel like the... Last year's was nice, but it, at times it felt like it looked a little busy. It looked like they cleaned up a lot of stuff, made that text a little bit bigger. I think it's a sharp looking set. Definitely, definitely made, a, made some nice little improvements here. So next time you see some more, get into it, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Again, we've got a case available on Fanatics Live if you really want to get into it. All right, there is a base Jackson Merrill for the Padres. That'll be for Sam. And there's a Evan Carter 65 out of 99. That'll be for Evan P and the Rangers. Evan C for Evan P. And there you have it, boys and girls. That is the break. Quick little recap here. Obviously, with the lack of, uh, with not as many autos, these inserts and these uh, rookie cards tend to get a nice boost in value on the secondary market, so always double check that. So a lot of fun stuff here. Keep your eye out for more. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. And I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.